solidarity forever for the union makes us strong. Hell yeah! contract since 1948 until 2009 when they said look we'll sacrifice we'll take a hit so we can keep you all afloat not that they need help to stay afloat the big three is you know literally turning their backs on them they're making record profits it's about time to reward the very people for the reason they were even able to again survive again the great recession and so <laughs> We want a fair agreement. We want fair economic and social justice. For you know, it's a shame. It's a shame we've got to be out here right now doing this because the companies won't take care of their workers who they want to call family. But I feel damn good and I'm damn proud to stand here with the VP of the UAW over Ford, the top top AA and all of our workers out here. These guys are the ones. This is what it's all about. And the message to your members out here tonight, what's the final message before you head Record over? profits equal record contracts. It's our time, and, and we all we want is our share of equity. We're not asking to be millionaires. We're not asking to join the billionaire class. We're asking for our fair share of the fruits of our labor. They deserve it. We're, we went backwards in the last 14 years, and these companies have made a quarter of a trillion dollars in profits. There's no excuse for it. They're raping society with the price of vehicles. It went up 30% in the last four years. CEO pays went through the roof. They're already millionaires. They went up 40%. Our workers got 6% pay increases, and inflation went up 19%. We're going backwards. <laughs> yeah. Right here. How's it going, brother? Okay. Ready to get your share? That's right. Watch your step. Watch your step. He looks pretty tough. workers are my brothers and sisters um, so they asked me if if they do vote to strike and we don't know what's going to happen yet uh, it doesn't the contract does not expire until midnight and I said of course I would be here I've been with a lot of them talking about these issues for a long time I come to this hall every year these are people that I talk to every day who are scared worried they're got a lot of issues that they care about. They know they're at a crossroads. So I'm just be here to support the workers. They, they, they don't feel like their earnings have kept up with inflation. They're actually making 10% less than they did in real terms in 2008 and 2009. So they want to see cost of living adjustments. 